Maxine again, teaching artist with Caribbean Cultural Center African Diaspora Institute, which is based in Harlem, New York. Right now, we're going to do part two of our study of Yavalu, which is a folkloric dance from Haiti, again, an island in the Caribbean. And Yavalu, again, is a dance of the serpent, or which you're mimicking or interpreting the movement of a serpent in your body. So let's review the motion of the body because it's going to happen in every step that we do in the combination we learned today. So you want to stand with your feet hip-width apart, knees slightly bent, body slightly inclined forward. And again, to create the motion of the serpent in your body, you're going to bring the pelvis down and let the body ripple all the way up. And now I forgot to add the shoulders there, but the shoulders are rolling back each time. So it's going to go down and through the body up. So let's try to practice the undulation four times to remind ourselves of how to perform it in our bodies. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three, and four. So I performed it sideways so you get a chance to see again what the body should look like as you're performing the undulation. Let's practice one more time. We set we bend. Five, six, seven, and one. Two, three, and four. Just so keep that motion going in each step that we do. So for the first step, we're going to step four times to the left, four times to the right. Again, knees slightly bent because again, Haitian folkloric dance has West African roots, so we want to stay grounded and knees slightly bent as we do in West African dance. So you're going to take four steps to the left, four steps to the right. Now. You're going to do the undulation of the body with each step, and you're also going to add your arm. Your arm is also going to perform a wave-like motion, just like you do with your torso. And your hands are, with your hands, your fingers are going to stay close together to mimic the head of a serpent. So you don't want to splay your fingers like this. Your hands want to stay close together like this. And you're going to go leading with the elbow, up and down, up and down, up and down, up, and down. So the way it's gonna look going to the left, you're gonna go one, two, three, and four to the right. One, two, three, and four. So showing you sideways, with, with when your body's doing the ripple, your arm is doing the ripple at the same time. So this is how it should look with both parts of the body activated together to create that undulation. So one more time without music, four times to the left, four times to the right. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, other way. One, two, three, and four. Let's try it with music so you get used to doing it with the music. Here we go. Do the left. Five, six, seven, and one. Two, three, four. Other way. One, two, three, and four. Good. So the next step, I'm going to challenge you a little bit. It's a little fast. You're still doing the undulation of the body, this time walking forward and using both arms. But the thing is, the undulation is happening a little fast. Undulation means that you're moving your body in this particular motion. So, walking forward is going like this. I'll show it first. You're going to go one, two, three, and four. So, you see the challenge there. It's a little faster than how we've been doing it. But you're, you're basically constantly moving your body with the undulation with the torso and arms. So on a faster tempo, I'll show sideways. You're going, you're going one, two, three, and four. So notice that my body never stops. I'll show it again sideways. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three, and four. So notice that my arms never sink like down. They stay pretty much at shoulder level. 
So make sure that your arms don't sink and they don't bend too far in, and the undulation leads with the elbows. So let's practice just that move with music. Walking forward, starting on the left. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four. Good. Make sure it's not you're not hitting. It's still, even though it's fast, you're not hitting the air. Keep it gentle. One more time. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three, and four. Good. keeping my arms pretty nice and soft and fluid and gentle as I'm walking forward, even though it's at a faster tempo. So let's try to practice the combination, the two steps, bring it together without music. So you're going one, two, three, and four, other way. One, two, three, and four. Fast tempo and one, two, three, and four. Let's try it with music. Just those two steps together. Five, six, five, six, starting to the left. going to come out on that last step into a second, well, in ballet we call the second position where your legs are standing a little bit wider than your hips and your knees are facing out. So you're going to bend your knees and for the next step you're going to go back to the slow rhythm before, only this time you're doing the undulation in place. So you're going one, two, three, and four. I'll show it sideways so you see what it looks like. With both, again, it's both arms and torso, creating that wave in the body like a serpent in Yangalu, to, to happening at the same time. So, sideways, it looks like this. One, two, three, and four. Believe it or not, this actually might be a little easier to do in second position or in this wider standing stance because this gives you a nice, if you bend your knees, you have a nice base or foundation to work from in order to complete that undulation in the body. Again, together, it looks like this. One, two, three, and four. Let's practice it one more time without music. Facing front, standing in second position. Five, six, bend the knees, and one, two, three, and four. Let's just practice that step by itself with music. to get, set your feet up in that position, in the second foot wide position, who can't talk, the second position <laughs> in order to create that foundation for this. So let's practice it with music, bring all of it together before I show you the last step. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you for dancing with me and we'll get ready for the next dance in the next video.